You know my guest tonight from The Daily Show, The Newsroom, and X Men Apocalypse. Her new movie is Office Christmas Party. Please welcome the lovely Olivia Munn. <laughs> Olivia Munn, it's Hello. lovely to see nice you to again. Nice to see you too. We had an awkward. Uh, do we two kiss? Do I we didn't one? know whether to do the one kiss or the two I kiss. I, I never I don't know. like the two kiss. It's so you know when you see people they, they want to do it. They go, I'm European. We have to. Right. Well, I'm American. I do what I want. That's true. That's true. It's in the Constitution. It you don't is. have to kiss people on the cheek once. That's true. Um, the last time you were here, uh, I had some fun with your mom. You did. Uh, uh, remember, I remember I t I texted your mom using your phone. You did. Last time you were here, and I sent her this text that said, um, uh, "Can we do this? Uh, your mom's name is Kim." I said, "Kim Colberto here. Happy for the engagement." And she wrote, "Hey Olivia, did you send me this text? I don't know what you mean." Yeah. <laughs> And then it, later, yes. because I... Because you were, in fact, not engaged. I was not engaged. Yes. And, um, and you made that confusing for my mother. Yes. And, uh... That's what I do. <laughs> but now, she's very excited, because once she saw it on TV, she's convinced that she's very, very famous. And she's like, oh, you know, sometimes everybody come up to me in Oklahoma and say, oh, I see you on... Hey, Mom. Um, and uh, she thinks, like, she's like, it's, you know, some, everybody come up to me. Sometimes it's hard, you know? Everybody come up. It's very hard. Everybody want to say hi. I'm like, yeah, she's having a hard time. <laughs> she, it's hard to be a celebrity. She'll no, tell she's you. She's got to look her best when she walks yeah. outside. I mean, she loves getting texts from you. Does she, let's let me text her again. I, well, I, I actually... <laughs> Well, here's okay. my phone. Let's do it. Oh, uh, wait, I have to All open right. it for you. What's your code? You, you, I like how you thought your fingerprint would work. Well, um, I never know. I never know. There it okay. Is, Mom. All right. Uh, what up, Kim? Question mark. Colbert here. <laughs> Boy, that's poorly spelled. Cole? It's cold bear, like C-O-L-E, and then a bear, like B-E-A-R. It's just transcribing everything we're saying to each other right now. I will send this to your mother. Boy, what I just sent your mother is, what up, Kim? Cold bear here for that's poorly spelled cold, and it's transcribing everything we're saying to each other right now. Please apologize to your mother for me. I'm so sorry. It's come through That's soon. more it's confusion come through than I wanted second. to inflict on her. I'm gonna leave it here just so I see in case she does. How is your mom doing? I understand that you took your whole family to a psychic recently. Yeah, my family. Um, yeah, my uh, a good friend of mine is Teresa Caputo. She is a Long Island medium. I don't know if you guys have seen her show, mm -hmm. but she'd asked me um, to bring my family onto her show, and I said no at first because um, my family is great, but they are they're not. They're not supposed to be on TV, I don't think. Um, but especially like uh, psychic TV shows, because you know, on those shows, they're really wanting big reactions. And yeah, they want emotional moments yeah. when they remember something about like a deceased because loved one or something. They are speaking to people who have passed on. That is amazing. Like they're talking to your dead loved ones, and you have to have reactions that are like fitting. Like this is, oh my gosh, this is amazing. My family, they're, they're a bunch of intellects, and they are very subdued. <laughs> Um, and even though I told her they wouldn't be great, she insisted, like, it'll be great. We should have them on anyway. So um, we're, on, we're doing the, the reading, and she goes to my brother first. My brother is uh, Johnny, and she says, uh, Johnny, um, do, they, do they call you John John? Does everybody call you John John? And we, we call him Mr. John John, and nobody would know that. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we do, right? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, Okay, so she moves on to my mom, mm -hmm. and she goes, um, I'm feeling like, do you have a, do you have a necklace? You, you have, are you wearing a necklace, or is there something from a, a grandmother? And now I have to say, I made the mistake before um, doing the reading, and I told my mom, don't give any information, just say yes or no, because you have to, you know, just let them tell you everything. Mm -hmm. So my mom is sitting there as if she's being interrogated by the police. <laughs> and she's so... She's just so reserved, and um, she says, do you have a necklace that's, like, I think from a grandmother, or a necklace from a grandmother? My mom goes, I don't know, maybe, no, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm like, and she goes, I feel like, I feel like you, you, you don't have a necklace with you? My mom's like, maybe. And so at this point, I'm like, okay, I have to, like, mediate the medium now. And so I said, Mom, do, do, it's okay, you can just say yes or no. Do you have a necklace or not? And she goes, 
Yeah. And I said, well, well, where is it? And she said, over there in my purse. I said, you, well, who's it from? Your grandma. I'm like, so when she was asking if you had a necklace from a grandmother, why didn't you say anything? She goes, because it wasn't on me. It's with me in my purse. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, that was the distinction. Your mama's a tough nut to she crack. She is. And I, but then I'm trying to get everybody's, you know, to have a great reaction because, you know, yeah. shooting it, I, I want her to have a good TV show. She's legit, I, yeah. I think. And um, I said, oh, my mom, isn't that amazing? See, Johnny, she didn't know that your name was John John. Mom, how would she know about the necklace that you brought with you from Grandma? And she goes, oh, yeah, I know, I believe. I feel her all the time. No big deal. I was like, <laughs> so, told did, you, don't put did, my family on TV. Did, did, did the, oh, here it is, for my mom. What did she say? What are you talking about? Are you mad at me? <laughs> Just say, it's Stephen Colbert's fault. Okay, it's... Oh, let's see what she says to that. Stephen... Mm. Ask her if she's wearing a watch... <laughs> ...from your great-grandfather. I'm feeling psychic connection. Do you... I, when I go to psychics, and I've only been a couple times, because I'm, uh, an adult, I, um... <laughs> But you go, uh, you believe. I do not. Then why I do did not. you go? What? Why I was desperate. A girl broke up with me. This was oh, a long time ago. Okay. I went to a psychic and she got the first thing, first three things she asked about me wrong. But what did I say? Yes, you're absolutely right. Oh, because you're so nice. No, because I know. Oh, no? Because no? I didn't want to upset the juju. I thought that maybe if I, she just got three right, she'd feel more confident and she'd start guessing real things about me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm willing to believe anything because I'm an adult. But I'm a Catholic. <laughs> um, now, Office Christmas Party, uh, I have this great... Can you explain this photo to me? Shooting Office Christmas Party, at the end oh. of the day, what did you... Did you tweet this? Did you... Uh... I, I Instagrammed that. This okay. is um, my hand after I had to stab it with a ballpoint pen because Kate McKinnon was told to just do whatever you want in a scene. And that is how funny she is. She, she was doing... So this was to keep you from laughing. You yeah, stabbed I, yourself it in was, the hand. She was... It was just a... She was just doing fart jokes, but it was just really, really funny. And I had, I was ruining the takes, and at, at a certain point, you know, like, it's not funny to, if at first everyone laughs and you laugh, and at, after a while, they think it's annoying. Yeah. So I had to take a pen and stab my hand underneath to stop from laughing. Mm -hmm. It didn't really work, but, um, <laughs> but I, 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 I have some ink poisoning now. We have, uh, we have an office Christmas party actually coming up um, a week from Thursday, right? A week from Thursday. And uh, we had uh, Jason Bateman on yeah. uh, recently for the same movie, and we've invited him to the, our Christmas party. Do you want to come to our office uh, Christmas party? Yes. Is he going to? If you go. <laughs> I will go. How crazy do you guys get? Uh, well, actually, it's funny you should say that, because uh, our showrunner uh, today had a meeting with the staff, and he said, have a good time, not a great time. <laughs> Which, which is very important at office Christmas party. To, In this movie, which one do we get? A good time or a great time? It, it's whatever goes above great. Um, we have a clip here of you and Jason Bateman uh, going a little bit too far, I think. Uh, being awesome. Being awesome, which is what I meant originally. Jim? Okay, you ready? Okay, you look ridiculous. Let's get ridiculous! Is it the hat? Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody! What? Oh. That was some choreography. I couldn't watch because my mom was texting, are you with Stephen Colbert? If so, tell him I say hi. Tell him, be nice to me. I am Olivia's mom. Hope meet him someday. <laughs> Olivia's mom, you are welcome to come here anytime you Aww. want. Olivia, lovely Thank to see you, so you again. Lovely to see Office you. Office Christmas party is in theaters today.